Welcome back folks to another video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, make sure to check out the Twitch, Twitter, and Patreon down below in the description, and I will see you all in the intro. Today we are playing my first, uh oh, first ever modern deck, I forgot to add the, the third Funeral Charm, 8-Rack. Uh, it's definitely a deck that used to be a little bit better, uh, it's, it used to be, I would say, like, tier 3, and now it is basically obsolete, but this is a deck that I have near and dear to my heart, one of my favorite decks of all time. It is 8-Rack, so how does it get better? It got better with Urza Saga, because this card is very messed up. If you don't know, it is one of the best lands, one of the best cards, one of the best, you know, one of the best, basically, spells in Modern. It is a card that allows you to make essentially two three threes and to tutor up a one drop or zero drop artifact so we can grab the rack which is nice we can trim on this card because we're basically paying more copies we can trim on the shrieking afflictions the rack so we basically get to play more discard and more interaction where in the past we kind of had to max out on eight of these hence the name eight rack while this doesn't necessarily have eight racks uh it does basically have nine copies of eight rack if you want to count the urza sagas uh, we also get to play a pithy needle and a nile spell bomb we also have a needle you know in the sideboard which i'm not huge on but you know this is a list that i saw that five owed and i like to copy these lists and see how they perform so i'm definitely curious to see how it goes we also have a pretty cool interaction uh nether spirit is a card that uh, if it's the only creature in your graveyard you can return it to the battlefield every turn and just chump block forever which is really fun and something that i do like is we have this ashiok in the sideboard so we can mill ourselves and possibly hit nether spirit which I think is a really sweet and cool interaction that I I almost would like kind of want to max out on Ashiox. Maybe not max out, but like, you know, play a little bit more copies just because I think this is really sweet and a cool idea. And then just the rest of the, the, the idea of the deck is to discard your opponent's hand. You know, we have Raven's Crime, which basically makes any land spell or land card into a spell. Uh, we have Liliana's, which is one of the best Planeswalkers when it comes to discarding. We have Smallpox, which is, you know, it's a mini pox, but we each discard a, uh, a card, lose a life, a sacrifice creature, and a land. So this card, when you don't have a creature or, you know, you don't have a card in your hand, it's just a two for one. So that's kind of what this deck is trying to abuse. And then Wrench Mine is just, you know, kind of like discard target or target player discards too. I have seen lists running Torox and more creatures in the in the main but i do like this version the most because i really like abusing smallpox the most and just like not having creatures is the best way to do that in my opinion other sideboard cards that are really relevant leyline it's really hard to beat graveyard decks with this like as you can tell we are a discard deck so you know not having not having graveyard hate is pretty hard to you know to, to to quantify right because when you're making your opponents discard if we're up against dredge or some graveyard synergistic strategy we need to be able to stop their graveyard from you know existing delirium schemes is specifically for ley line of sanctity although you know it's also good as just a three mana untargeted you know discard effect so veil of summer doesn't you know stop this so some green decks we might want to bring this in against brutality for the burn decks and whatnot Bantu's Last, Last Reckoning, just a cheap board wipe against go wide strategies, which are not terribly all over the place, but, you know, this card definitely could come in and help us. You could play this or Plague Engineer, but I think this is better because we don't really want to be playing creatures, as I said. We want to we wanna strand cards in our opponent's hand that are just, you know, removal spells and are not good against our deck. So anyways, folks, I hope you all are excited to see the rack and see it come back and some, you know, hopefully I don't uh, go negative. I, I've been having a little bit of a tough streak, like, you know, yeah, tough streak lately, which everyone has in Magic. So hopefully we can get a, you know, 4 one 5 oh, that'd be awesome. So I'll see you all in the first match. We're getting to the first match here and we're on the draw, which is not bad. Uh, this hand's obviously a mulligan. We don't have lands. All right, this hand is fine. I think I'm gonna get rid of either Liliana or Smallpox. Probably just Lily. We haven't heard of them, Lily. We're up against a Gigantha deck, so this is usually uh, Death Shadow, so we need to be a little bit wary. That's gonna be a spooky matchup, but we'll see. And we need to be cognizant that they are a Dress Down deck, so, uh oh. I guess this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, ooh. Okay, that's good with, uh, with, uh, smallpox. This is a, uh, 
whatchamacallit deck. Oh, wow. What is this deck? Wow, this is a very interesting looking list. They can Mertalic Rebuke no matter what. What do we want to get rid of? Probably this EI or... Honestly, if we take the Ornithopter, then they can't... Then they cannot um, Metallic Rebuke, but... Expressive Iteration is by far the best card in their hand. I think I'm actually going to take the Ornithopter and high roll it here. Try and get ourselves a land off the top, a Black Sword specifically, and then we can Smallpox. And then try and like kind of put them back in the Stone Age here. It's a little bit of a risky, you know, a little risky gambit here, but. Okay. Ask me, Black Source, please. Black Source in this game is looking good for us. Ugh. So sad. Okay, what do we want to take here? Of thinking nettle cyst yeah nettle cyst is just the best card there god if we would have drawn a black source man that would have been so good for us so good man please that's good okay give me a land this is being tough it will definitely take the iteration. Should definitely counter this. Oh, they don't. Oh, they have a, a nettle cyst again. Uh, <sighs> tough decision here. Iteration or cyst. They're going to be able to cast either one of these next turn because we just haven't found a land. I think we take the cyst here. A nettle cyst. We really need to find a, you know, black source here. Being able to smallpox will be huge. Even with the iteration here. They can float a mana, get a spring leaf drum. Yeah, they'll iterate here. We'll see how bad it is. Hopefully it's not too good. And I would love to cast my smallpox. Dark Steel Citadel. Okay, gotcha. They have three cards in hand, very interesting. Black source, a little late. Uh, I think we resolve our Liliana now, and then we can smallpox next turn. Discard this nether spirit. Feel good about it. We get to return it next turn. They take a point here. Looking in a decent spot. Okay, get a beat in Urza Saga, which is not going to be easy. Oh, they didn't equip Cranium Plating. Bro, what? I was like, oh, great, they just get to kill my Liliana. Never mind. Wow. They want to hold up Metallic Rebuke that bad? Wow. All right. So how do we win this game? Not really sure how we win this game. Problem is this Urza saga is going to be a beat. These Urza Saga cards are going to be good. And we can Edict, but... Oh, they couldn't make a... Oh, let's go. I didn't realize they couldn't make a Construct there. Okay. Hopefully they don't have a Pithy Needle. They have a... Mm, they do. Well, that's annoying. They're playing that? Interesting. Rule spell. Uh, we're dead, probably. We need to find a removal spell here. Because a blocking. Well, are we just dead? Most. 
I should kill the lily. Yeah, they agree. Yeah, we're dead here. Tough game. Close, 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 close. But. Hmm? We were close. So, what do we want for this matchup? I think this is a Bond 2's last reckoning matchup. Marion scheme is not great. Pithy Needle is good. We have two Pithy Needles. So. Uh, Blood Cheese Thirst Fine. Wrench Mine is god awful. Yeah, this is fine. Just running these cards. Yeah, that sucks. Well, we really need to uh, Pithy Needle a Urza Saga because that card is going and leave us also the fact that they had a one of wrench or one of pithy needle was tough we think we were actually winning that game if they didn't have the pithy needle so we'll get into the next game here and in the game two here so typically i think i'm gonna go second still it's hard to say because the old rule of thought was that you don't want to go first with the eight rack because you give your opponent more cards but the format has gotten a lot better so it's you know, it's kind of hard, tough to say, and harder to say. I'm going to keep this hand. Or is this does a lot of work? We'll see what their hand's looking like. Welding jar. Okay. Ginger Brute. Oh, my goodness. The unbeatable Ginger Brute. Okay. Guess we'll play that. Uh, what Inquisition yet? Don't whiff, please. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we definitely gotta grab the Etch Champion, I think. This is, like, really tough because... I don't know how we just beat Urza Saga because this card's really good. That's what I'm concerned about. Like... This is one reason why A-Rack probably got a lot worse, because these cards like Urza Saga are just so backbreaking and really hard to beat on their own. Streaking Affliction. Okay. Um, so I want to play that. And the Saga... I guess. Load of mana, and I guess we're killing this with a funeral charm? Or do we want to make them discard a card? I think I'd actually rather make them discard a card. Because then they're like, yeah, they can't keep this Tomod script because they have to keep the land to be able to activate Urza Saga. And this is granted that we can even beat this Urza Saga here. It's going to be a tough one to beat. Because they even have, like, Shadow Spear. Like, we literally just lose this land by itself, which is kind of tough. Okay, well, now we can kill two creatures. Fine. Definitely still going to be a tough game to win. Like they grab Shadow Spear here. They have two five five. I guess they can just welding jar one. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe if we draw a Bantu's Last Reckoning now, we could be in this game. I think that's about all that we can draw. Yeah. Bantu's Last Reckoning, I think. I think that was a, I don't know. It's a hard hand to not want to keep. Yeah, they'll probably just welding jar it. Yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, I guess we won't concede yet, but I'm very close to conceding. This has to be a bad matchup. Any Urza Saga matchup is probably going to be really tough. It's going to be one of the best cards against us, for sure. 
like iteration like their their decks express iteration actually i'm surprised they're an expressive iteration deck all right liliana not enough all right we'll see you all in match number two we're here for match number two and do we go first okay i'm gonna go first just to see what it's like all right the sand's good not perfect but definitely not horrible Put our opponents on. No companion revealed, which is good for us. Another card we need to be worried about is uh, Renin Six. That is a very messed up magic card that we can't beat. So there are there are a lot of things that uh, this deck struggles against. Okay, they mulligan the six. All right, fuck yeah. Five, four, 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 four. See, this is the one deck where I will will root for my opponent to go further down on cards. All right, it's Inquisition U. Uh, okay, so this is the combo deck, probably? Doesn't really matter. I guess I'll take this Endurance so they can't pitch cast it and get rid of my, uh, can't pitch cast it and get rid of my um, Raven's Crime. The land, not bad. Raven's Crime U. Oh. These cards are Risen Reef. Oopsies. Almost just passed my turn. Here to the Shardless. Here to the Shardless. Alright, so this is another matchup that's probably not great for us. I think there's a common consensus. There's a lot of bad matchups for us. Now, all their cards just draw a card. Red. Red. Glimpse of Tomorrow getting suspended. Okay, well, Liliana, tick up. <laughs> Get rid of Blood Chief's Thirst, go. All right, they don't have, they have two permanents here. Three permanents. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna play the land out here. When does this come out? Two turns from now, all right, well. They're gonna have three hits. Hopefully they aren't good. Don't draw a land, please. Or something that makes tokens. Is this a violent outburst? No shot. They drew a freaking violent outburst. Champion Endurance. It's good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we take those. We take them where we can get them. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that wasn't that great. Uh, Conceded from the game. <laughs> Let's go. I was like, can't be an endurance copium. Oh man, oh god, we have nothing. Great. Okay, we're still gonna lose this game, I'm convinced. Uh, probably want brutality here. Bantu's last reckoning, honestly, probably good. And what is not good? Fatal pushes probably are not that great. This is a Pithy Needle out matchup. Like an Inquisition out matchup, they have a lot of CMC stuff. Uh, you could say Ashiok maybe, but I think this is actually a pretty good spot. Leyline doesn't do anything because it's like not really a combo version. This is just like get a big board, get a lot of value, which is not good for us, right? Because we are the anti-value deck. Uh, this hand is um interesting. Probably good enough. Not any like actual discard, but like I can like poke at their resources here. Alright. Well, we can always funeral charm at instant speed, so Okay. Card a card, my friend. Discard land, my friend. 
Shards of Glimp. Okay. We've got a rack. Nope. Choose you. We could also like funeral charm this plant token if we need to. Or like a resin reef for options. That's why I'm holding it up. I don't really want to fire it off right now. Just to discard a card. It's not very good. No. Violent outburst. Oh, that card's really good. Well, maybe I should have. Oh, I should have killed this and then killed this. Maybe. Hmm. That might have been the play. Yeah, I, I'm admitting that I messed that up. I'm admitting it. I messed that up. This is what happens when you don't play as much uh, as much eight rack as you'd want to. Another glimpse in the bin. Take one. Aha. Well, if they have a Cascader, they are definitely Cascading this turn. Discards none. Whew. Elemental. Yeah, I admit that I messed this game up. Possibly. Possibly. How much damage are we going to take? <laughs> Yay. Uh-oh. Oof. Blue. Oh, they can't even cast. No, yeah, they can. They oh, they can't even cast Omnath. Yeah, they can. Uh. Yep. All right, we'll let them do their thing. We're f 6 uh okay. Yep, nope, that's that's game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's good enough. Oh man, we have problems. We have problems. Alright, let's um God, this is such a bad matchup, actually. Alright, well there's no way Bond to the last rec means actually gonna matter. We need to literally just like make their resources non existent, so let's bring in delirium skeins. Like, this is, this is like, after the fact that we're already dead, so we just can't, we can't do that. We'll go first. Oh, this hand's bad, but, like, we have to keep it. We just don't have any actual good removal, or any good targeted discard. Okay, they're on six, it's good. We need them to go to, like, four or something. Oh, this hand's very questionable, to say the very least. Make them discard now. Give them less information. Discard's an Omnath, sure. Give me a... Give me a... Ooh, that's a good one. I'm just gonna do this so I can go Liliana into the Delirium Skeins. I think I'm gonna down tick on this plant token. Hmm. Probably not. That's incorrect. Maybe I should have just skeined there. Now let's just discard swamp. So they can violent outburst for three. They're just gonna need a risen reef. Very interesting. I'm gonna assume they have another one then, because that's probably the best three drop that you can play. No. Okay. Well, they're gonna discard their whole hand here. I think we're actually in a good spot. Please don't hit a land drop. Sweet. It's actually good for us. No, oh, bro. Come on. All right. I guess this isn't the end of the world. Don't hit land. Thank God. 
Yeah, we'll just, you know, play a rack, get a rack. Get a rack. Play a rack. All right, we can make them take six. I mean, pretty good. What are we discarding? Play three good ones. Violent Outburst, Shardless, and Wave Sifter. Yeah, those are good ones. I would count those as good ones. Okay. Why are we attacking with both? Do we draw a Violent Outburst? Please, no. No way. Ugh. Yeah, it's not good for us. All right, smallpox. Pass the turn. You have a uh, endurance. Endurance is not as scary. I promise you that. No, I don't think it's an endurance. Uh, they drew a freaking violent outburst. That's so good for them. What's our board looking like? Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. We got so lucky. Holy Jesus. But they shuffled in. They shuffled in like a bunch of stuff. How did they? They shuffled in five things. They whiffed twice. All right, well, I think we're actually going to win this game, surprisingly. They top-decked the nuts, but they didn't hit well. We're on the board, folks! <laughs> Let's go! I This is like the first game I've won in, like, forever, it feels like. It feels like it's been a minute since I've won a game. Let's go! I'll see you all in match number three. We're here for match number three, and I'm actually happy to lose the die roll. I think I'm going to keep this hand, even though our opponent mulliganed. Like, we have a turn one removal spell. If we draw a black source, we have wrench mind, so I think this hand's pretty good. I'm going to mulligan to five. Two, two, two. <laughs> this is the one deck where I will root. I know, I said it before, but this is the deck. This is the root deck. What do we got here? Planes go, okay. Oh, well, this is not a bad draw. What's going on over there? Oh, wow, that sucks. Uh, I'll take the hexproof one. Oh, well, this is not a good matchup. But we do have something good for the matchup, aka three Bantu's last wreck means. Okay, we can kill the light paws. Sure. Yeah, we'll go Saga, Saga, play a rack, Fatal Push, and we're looking good. Hey, Light Paws is interesting, interesting card. Another land, the passion to play that out, but okay. It's okay with me. Hey, this is definitely an Urza Saga game. Like, we'll just make a few tokens and probably win with them. But they also probably have a good card in the matchup, aka, uh... They probably have, um, Leyline of Sanctity in this deck. Um... We need to be very, uh, careful here. What we keep. So, I... Because of that, I'm definitely bringing the Fiends and the Bantu. Uh, things I definitely don't need are Nile Spell Bomb. Smallpox is very good. It's actually probably our other best card. I can probably trim on some for a Fatal Push here. Even though they do have Light Paws. Actually, I'm going to trim on Bleeps. There's completely over that. And Funeral's Charm is literally doing nothing in the matchup, so. 
isn't gonna kill anything. It's really this card's really for like an extra removal spell for Ragman and DRC while also being a good like you know if you need it you can use it as a discard spell. All right, this is definitely a mulligan. All right, this hand's good. I'm just gonna put back a push. Hope they don't have a ley line of sanctity. Oh, they do. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's a problem. This is where having, um, what you call it in your deck would be nice. Some of these decks play uh, Shadow Spear. I don't know if Shadow Spear gets around players, but I know it gets around. I'm pretty sure it does, actually. Wow, they, they're playing Fortified Village. What a time to be alive. That's fine. Wow, I think that big quick. We do need a smallpox here. Off the top, baby. Do need a smallpox. Maybe, just maybe. We do know one of their cards in hand is a planes, so that's good. It's funny that these have been like two completely opposite games. Oh man. All right, well, again, Smallpox is our only out, and it probably won us the game at this point. But we'll see. Nope, didn't get it. All right. Moving on. Quick games here. Uh, This is definitely a matchup where going first is 100% correct, because a lot of their hands are predicated on keeping... Like one or two, actually, Pithy Needle's kind of bad in this matchup, but one or two boggles. All right, this hand's a fucking snapper clapper. Snapper freaking clapper. Let's go. And has turn one discard, turn two, like, backbreaker. Turn two, backbreaker. Okay, well, this card annoying. But we will smallpox. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good small box. <laughs> Let's go. Second small box off the top. Scoop 'em and poop 'em, baby. Game's over. Scoopity whoop poop. Whoopity scoopity poop. Maybe it's not over. They could uh they could definitely have another land, another creature. Yeah, they don't. It's cool. I think I'll take a turn off if they do play a creature. Unless it's uh the light paws creature to uh smallpox. Yeah, this is fine. This isn't even targeted. I think this is fine. Maybe it's not, but. Pithy Needle. Well. No, let's just do this. Oh, wait, this is a mistake. I know this is I should have stacked. Great. Oh man, what am I supposed to sack? Wise, I think it's the silent clearing. I messed this game up. That's okay. I didn't realize that I shouldn't sacrifice this until after the fact. But Uh, what do we want to name this pithy needle? Nothing as of right now. I think we're in any rush. We're not in any rush. That's for sure. Oh my god, another saga. Let's go. 
Let's go. As you can tell, this card's been very crucial to this deck being a little bit more competitive. Okay. A construct. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, not another one. Another one. Your. What's this name? Plus two mace. I don't know. How about a little chat? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Where's Abandoned Hope? Let's do that. There's, uh, you can't do that? Yeah, let's do a little chat. I don't know. I've never heard of this card. A little chat? I think this card's just bad in the deck. I don't know why I had it. But we do. All right, are we going to be two? Are we going to be positive? Oh, my God. It looks like it. Let's go. We're positive, folks. I will see you all in the next match. We're match number four. Ugh, I hate being first. I hate it. 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 I don't want to have to choose. I'm going to go first, but... Not sure that's actually right. Giganta the Wellspring. Mulligan to six. Let's go, Poggies. Now we don't care. Oh god, are we up against Tron? We're up against Tron. I'm convinced. Yes, sir. I actually think I was to save this fucking car, dude. This card's gonna be a problem. What is the Sylvan Scrine? Hmm. Million dollar question. What are we supposed to take? Probably can't beat this card, so I'm gonna take the card. Like, if they just get the four mana card, I don't know how we win. If they draw a green source, that sucks, but I think we gotta take the problem that's actually going to kill us. Uh, yeah, let's just make them discard a card. I'm going to discard the Sanctum, but we'll see. Also, we do have a Pithy Needle main, which is kind of fucking swaggy, dude. Didn't even remember that until just thinking about it. Fine. Okay. Oh, hot. Hot. Mamacita. Let's cast that one. Huh? Or do we? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We discard. Hmm. 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 Discard a worm coil. Gotcha. Yeah, I think that was an okay. <laughs> Keck. Keck W's. We could just grab spell bomb. No, let's grab a rack. We need a Raven's Crime, please, off the top dealer. I swear to God, if you slam a drawn land, I'm gonna cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh man, what a time to be alive! Wowzers. What a hand of magic cards. Ah, uh, yeah, similar tower. Perfect. I and Gigantha. That's actually pretty sick. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Gigantha. Okay. Take one. Give me, oh, they have Tron, okay. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to play that. Better later on. Yeah, this is awkward. They drew a green source? No, uh, this isn't fair. Whiff, whiff. 
Whiff. <laughs> That's actually not even that good. Hey, we have outs to discard. We have a decent amount of outs. We have four lilies in the deck. All right, Scar's not even good. All right, it's not even good. Check W, come on. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. What a time to be alive, folks. Uh, they're just gonna attack here, I guess. The land, but what a what a time to be alive, folks. Oh, I love this game. We got so freaking lucky. Oh, I love this game too much. So you're gonna take six. Let's attack with my nether spirit, see if they block. See if they're smart. Yeah, okay, okay. We need to whiff. Need them to whiff some draw steps here. Doesn't really matter how we stack this. You have a lot of things that just kill us. No. Bad. Okay, that doesn't... Uh-oh, wait, that just finds Blast Zone? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's annoying. Well, that's a good card. That was probably actually one of their better draws. Other than, like, just, like, Karn or Ulamog or something that immediately wins in the game. Last zone. Hello. All right. Well, eh. I'm just happy we even have a chance in this game. Give me a. Let me an eight rack off the top. Give me a rack. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, deck. It's not bad, actually. Whiff. No. Stop. 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 Oh, not fair. The yeah, Exiling, probably this Nether Spirit, actually. Eh, don't need to do that. Just exile the Saga, I guess. Herborg. Questionable. Act the Karn. Questionable. No way, we can start attacking them. And then we just have to hope they whiff, because we can just pithy needle this. I guess. Oh my god, stop. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Boo them, honestly. Alright, pithy needle number two is good. Spell bombs, great. I think delirium screens is not as good. I, I, I said spell bomb is great. It's bad. Just like mine is. Um, all of these removal spells are not good. I don't want Ashiok. I have one wrench mine. It can be okay sometimes. All right, deck. Look at this Tron player doing Tron things. They kind of just like pooped on us. But anyways, we're gonna get into the next match here. And we definitely want to go first in this matchup, too. I'll be able to take their, you know, things that find things. There are things that find things. Sand's fine. Cup seven. Repro Raggy. Take the map. Their hand's very good. Oh, Sylvan Sky or Ancient Starians on turn one. Well, 
All right. Earthy needle. Nature's claim. I guess it's fine if they nature's claim this. We need a lot of stuff to come together here. We're like in a weird spot, to say the very least. Okay. We're definitely in a stranger, stranger spots than I'd like to be in. I think I want to thought sees maybe force this issue on the nature's claim. Might think about it here. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, and then we can just like, what are we gonna name with this? What are we gonna do? We're dead to either of these if they get Tron. Are we dead to one? Actually, I guess we can take the worm coil and name Karn Liberated here. And we just don't need to worry about that card. I guess I could have named like map. Could have been like the right name. Not that okay. It definitely seems like a very shitty matchup. Especially with the way our sideboard's configured. We don't really have anything for this matchup. We have no Tron hate. It's Define Maze. Get discarded, lol. Discard, lol. Give me like a Liliana here, please. <laughs> I love this. This card's so bad in this matchup, but it's been kind of good these past two games. It's like this this card's almost traditionally like pointless, but actually been okay these past two games. God, why can't we print a him to Torok in this format? They got rid of Karn Liberated and Gigantha, wow. What is their card in hand? Thrag Tusk, maybe? Maybe Worm Coil? Yes, Worm Coil can make sense. I don't think this Inquisition's hitting anything, but nature's yeah. It's actually kind of nice. Interesting. I think I would have kept the Gigantha over that card, to be honest. No. Oh, I was down. XW <laughs> does everything. Does everything. Oh, it does too much. Alright, I'll make them pop this if they want to. Discard this Blood Chief's Thirst. Barn. Okay. Probably want to pop this, to be honest. Liliana's a very scary magic card on an empty board. We got here a star, okay. Tracking it now is good for me. Does they draw any creatures they can't cast? Cast, cast if they crack it into anything they can't cast, it's bad for them. Let's take it. Pog. Alrighty. Oh my god, we got rid of a Karn Liberator, or Karn the Great Creator, that's great. Probably one of the best cards in the matchup against us too. It's actually not that good, but I guess I'd rather them do be down a land here. Yeah, I would rather them be down a land. Don't think it's particularly important, but they'll probably just lose this... Yeah, I guess they can't um, mystify in maze here then. It's actually not irrelevant. 
Such a weird card. Okay, expedition map, that's a good one. But it's not like that big of a deal because they have to have one turn to draw into something or else we just get the edict or split their piles into two. So I don't really know if that's that great. All right. Don't draw the payoff, please. Don't draw the payoff, please. No. Uh, uh, um, that's pretty bad, actually. Why was that like? By far the best thing they could have gotten. Like completely involved. So give him my yarn. Now I'm not having a yarn. Probably keep this. I think that was a bad split up. Good one. Probably need to top deck multiple lilies here. I don't really have removal in the deck, do I? Hmm. We have one blood chief's thirst and a few lilies left. We discarding. Ulamog. No, well, we're not winning by uh, not attacking. That's for sure. I guess we can draw an Urza Saga. That would probably be our best draw, wouldn't it? Then we could make some blockers at some point. Because they would be bigger than these. Saga? No, never. Never. Not playing our land because we do have things that we'd want to do with it if we draw a saga, I guess. You might want to like discard it to Raven's Crime. Relic. Uh do we have time now? Yeah, we have the top deck either Lily. Actually, that's an out, kind of. We can mill over our... Yeah, we can mill over our... Uh, that's not really an out. That's uh, weird. Um, Relic. Relic of Progenitus. We need to mill over our Nether Spirit now. And if we hit exactly Urza Saga, okay, not that did not happen. Uh, I'm trying to, th I don't think we have an out. I'll take a draw step, but yeah, that worm coil, we need to dodge a top deck twice, I think. I don't remember first game, but both games it seemed like we needed to dodge a top deck and they top decked and we lost. It happens, right? Urza's mine. Drawn. Okay. Maybe they attack this Ashiok for some stupid ass reason. No. Let's see. Did I mill over it? Can we mind another spirit, please? No, we didn't. All right. I'll see you all in the fifth and final match. We're into the last match, and we're up against Karn Daddy, but we have a pretty good hand against Karn Daddy. I don't know what they're on. Hopefully, they're not on Karn. Okay, it looks like they're not. Let's go. That will be sad if we're up against it. You know, I think something to, like, really think about is what we lost to. We lost to the two decks where their lands are really important, if that makes sense. 
Um, like, we lost to an Urza Saga deck where that was all that really mattered. All right, Thoughts, who's a great draw. Hopefully, we can take a run in six here. Eh? We're up against Living End? I guess this is Living End. Yeah, this is just gotta be Living End, I guess. Uh, blah, 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 I take? Doesn't really matter. Huzzah! Take a Street Wraith. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it really matters. It's a free cycle, so I guess we'll take it. So this has got to be a good matchup post-board. You have a lot of graveyard hate because this deck does struggle against graveyard decks, so it's definitely it definitely makes sense to uh, have extra cards against that or those strategies. All right, discard a card. There's a fury. Discard a card. I don't cascade into uh <laughs> into the creature, please. Please don't do that. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. Uh oh. I said please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, man. Please, man. Don't want to die to this monstrous insect. Okay. Card doesn't do anything. Uh, I'll do that. All righty then. Let's not have a uh, violent outburst, please. <laughs> Vile. Have a violent outburst, please. All right. Fun game, fun game, fun game. Don't need to see it. <laughs> maybe they're not playing living in. Maybe they're maybe their plan is to get people to concede before they cascade. That's it. I think we figured it out. All right, Leyline, Ashiok, Nile, Spellbomb, Pithy Needle, Badge, 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 Badge. Removal spells are not good. Yeah, well, it looks like that is. All right, yeah, pretty happy with that. Honestly, well. Am I? Do I want? Do I want something instead of funeral charm? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we don't want to go first. No, ma'am. Okay, Mulligan. Uh, yeah, let's go hand. I think we put back the pox of the small. Small pox, please. Don't kill my ley line, please. Don't kill my ley line, please. My ley line is helping me not lose the game. So let's not kill my ley line. This is a good start for us, I mean. Let's see where this goes. Street Wraith. Okay. Uh, ingot chewer, not deal with our board. Uh, I guess I'll take the violent outburst. I don't really care about the rest. That hand just kind of sucks. It's not very good. Top deck the land, of course. Of course. Ah, oh, yes, perfect draw. Perfect draw at the perfect price. Sago. This is the problem with running ley lines. Also, can we like not have our opponent top deck another land, please? Be appreciated. What if they have like Assassin's Trophy or something? That'd make sense. Then we can like almost hard cast another. Almost hard cast another uh, ley line at that point. <sighs> we'll see what they do though. 
Crayon's not very good. Like, what do we get? I guess we get a relic. Well, I guess it depends, right? Taking our thoughts, he's gotcha. Land? Makes some sense. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to grab a Nile Spell Bomb, aren't we? We're just not really even close to casting a little pend, right? Uh oh. Uh oh, stinky. Oh, they just stacked their triggers. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. I guess we're still gonna. Yeah, we gotta grab this Nile spell bomb. They go. Just did not mean to whistle. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Just wanna cycle this to draw a card. Give me land, please. Yay! Uh, what are we doing? We might just thought seize them. Yeah, let's. Well, I guess I could smallpox. Yeah, let's do that. It means they're off the land. We can discard this ley line. It's not very good. Yeah, I don't want to like get top decked out on and then them get a you know violent outburst or some shit and we lose the game. The next turn we can just wrench mine and thought seize and stuff like that. Yeah, Drew Swamp. Drew Swamp. <clears throat> this is gonna be a long game, isn't it? So kinda I wanna know if they have like force of vigor in their deck or something like that. Ingature and twin shot sniper. Sniper game codec. No. Please. For the love of God. Please don't tell me you drew a fucking cascade card. Oh, thank God. Well, the problem is we're not in a good spot because any cascader and we lose. Any cascader and we're dead. No. Stop. Please. Ow. <laughs> this game sucks, dude. Doesn't it? Our opponent, like... I love living in. Well... Ugh, we don't have counts. Ugh. Well, we won 2-3 with the deck. As I said, our bad matchup is the graveyard decks and the decks where lands matter. So I think it's important to realize that bad matchup include any deck with Urza Saga, any deck that is completely irrelevant on its graveyard like Livian's, uh, I think there's a lot of things to, you know, I love this deck and it's a pet deck of mine forever because I love this deck quite a lot, but there's a lot of things that are, that are just like way better now. Like a Ragavan can single-handedly beat you, an Urza Saga, which is in a land, an uninteractable land. I think the sideboard definitely would need to get swapped. The, these, these Bantus, the Last Reckoning suck. The, the, I don't know why we would need two Pithy Needles. I would figure out where, like, where we can cut one of these, either the main or in the side. I don't think you need both. Uh, these Delirium skins are fine, I guess. And then, like, I don't think we need Nile Spell Bomb and Leyline of the Void. Like, one or the other, pick your poison, you know. We we already have a Nile Spell Bomb main. We're fine. So, so I'd trim the Pithy Needle, the Nile Spell Bomb, and the... Bontu's last reckoning. Free up five sideboard slots. You can figure out what you want. You definitely need some Urza Saga hate. I don't know what you have in mono black. Break the ice is an option. I don't love that card. Um, 
I don't know what else. I don't know what else. I don't know what else you would need, but I do think you need to figure out how to stop the big mana matchups. I think having four lay on the voids is good enough for the graveyard hate. You got to figure out. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, as for Urza Saga, I don't know. And for big mana, maybe like Damping Sphere or something like that. But uh, Or even like more Ashiok, I guess. I guess you could, you know what else you could do? You could play um, Necromentia for those matchups. I do like that card quite a bit. But anyways, folks, I really hope you enjoyed the 8-rack deck, or if you want to call it 5-rack, whatever. Uh, it was a fun league. It was interesting to see how this deck still plays. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.